welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews brought to you by HollywoodFrodo.com. I, of course, am Eric, and today I'm going to talk to you about a uh, relatively new and innovative party game called Court, uh, which is a fun game uh, in the lines of catchphrase, gestures, uh, taboo, uh, games to play with a group of people. Now before I talk to you about the game and the gameplay, I just want to jump over real quick and show you how the game comes packaged, specifically in uh, rather uh, uh, tastefully to be taken to a party with a bottle of wine. So uh, let me jump over and show you that. This is how the game court comes. You can see the party game for the entertaining connoisseur. It has a little tag on there that gives you the instructions. Insert bottle into bag, take bag to party open bag and uh, that is not a joke that is for real if you open this flap you can see there is an empty spot right there for a uh, bottle of wine it is wine size and even with the tag even if you do the tag on there you can still fit the bottle of wine down in there so you put the bottle of wine in there you can take this to your party and uh, have some fun so let's cut that tag off as you would probably do if you're taking it to a party. And so you can see on the inside, you got the box for your bottle of wine, and then you got the actual game. So as you can see, it comes with great packaging uh, so that you can carry the game along with a bottle of wine. Uh, if you want to, you don't have to. The game itself is all contained in this box. And it's, it's a rather simple game, uh, kind of a takeoff of the game of charades or gestures, but a very unique uh, game play because the way that it's designed, you're not divided into teams and every person plays every turn. Unlike most games where, uh, especially charade type games, where you're going back and forth between teams, in this game, everybody plays every turn. Uh, in the package, you have your scorecard, uh, with instructions to the game on the back. You have your timer and a nice foam uh, packaging that it fits into so it's not sliding around. You have your little hourglass timer. You have your little pen which you use to keep score on the uh, scorecard. And then you have uh, the cards that you use to play. So let me just take one of the cards so I can explain to you how you play this game. Each card has a series of words. These are compound words, so it's a combination of two different words. When it's uh, to determine the order of uh, people going, uh, there is a turn order card, and it gives you specific instructions. Interesting thing, you have someone pick a random number, and then you go to that number, for example, number seven, uh, if you do number seven, the person with the longest tongue picks the order that everyone goes in. So there's some fun, interesting ways to pick the order of how people go. When it's your turn, uh, when it comes to your name on the list, you choose two other people to be the, I guess you could say, actors uh, uh, who are going to act out and charade style the words on this card. Those pe two people get up, they pull a card, and they start with the first word, which on this card is teaspoon. Well, one of them is responsible for the words on the right, and one of them is responsible for the words on the left. And so each person is acting out in a charade style without saying anything, each of these words at the same time. Uh, so it's kind of crazy because you've got two people, each acting out an individual word, and Everyone tries to guess what these two words are to put them together as a single word. Now, if someone guesses one of the words, let's say someone guesses T, then the, that person can join the other person to try to help people get spoon. And put them together, the answer, of course, is teaspoon. If no one is guessing either of these words, they can't help each other out. They have to act independently. Uh, but it's kind of cool, it takes the pressure off. I know some people have some friends who don't like games where there's a lot of pressure on them and they're the only one standing up there trying to do something. Uh, so this game, it kind of takes the pressure off of them because uh, you have two people standing up there and if one person's really good and gets their word guessed, once they get their word guessed, they can then jump over and help the other person uh, to try to get someone to guess the full compound word, teaspoon. Uh, when 
someone does guess the entire word teaspoon, then they go to the next word on the list. And they, again, each act out their half of the word and the goal being to get people to guess it. And you go all the way down until either the time runs out or uh, the last word is guessed. And in scoring, there are three points awarded for uh, every correct guess. The person who yelled out the correct word first gets a point. The, and each of the uh, actors get a point for every word that's guessed correctly. So there's a lot of scoring that's going on. Of course, when it's your turn, when it comes to you, let's say you were way down here on the list, you pick the two actors that go up. Obviously, whoever is acting or doing the, the charade is, uh, has the opportunity to get the most points. So when you're picking, you have to be strategic because you want to pick people who maybe are you think you're good at guess, guessing from them, but at the same time, you also want to guess someone who pick someone who maybe doesn't have a really high score because you don't want them to get more points. So it gives a little bit of strategy to it. Um, and that's basically all there is to the game. It's, it's a very simple game. There's a, a good number of uh, cards that come. This isn't all of them, but you see this stack, and then there's a few. There's more down here, and then there's a second stack. So a good number of cards. So a good uh, replay value. And how many rounds you want to play will probably depend on how many people you have uh, playing the game. You play, like most party games, probably until you're uh, uh, tired of playing, <laughs> until you're worn out. Um, but it's a really great game, uh, as you can see, really cool packaging that it comes in uh, with the box to, to put the wine bottle down in with the game. So if you want to take it as a gift for the person who's hosting the party, you could give them you know, the bottle of wine and the game. Um, or if you just own, buy the game for yourself and you just want to take the game to play the game, then you just take the game with the box that it came in. But again, the game is called Court. It's a uh, really, really fun game. Of course, I'm going to have a link down in the description below. You can click on that link to jump over and uh, check out the game for yourself and uh, pick one up for you or pick a couple up to take the parties as uh, gifts if you'd like. Um, but it's a really fun game. I would highly recommend it. Really fun with a good group of people. Anyway, that's going to be it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who is really into games and group games like I am, then uh, please share this video with them. It's a new game. There's a good chance they might not have heard of it yet. So you can share with them. You can share with everyone you know on Facebook or you can use Twitter, Google+. Plus. Email, all those buttons are down there. Uh, check out my channel for other product reviews. I've got a couple of other game reviews, but I also have tons of household products, electronics, gadgets, um, smartphone and tablet accessories, lots of things over there, so I wanna check those out. And if you own an Android phone, I also have tons of Android app reviews to help you make the best use of your Android phone. You can also subscribe to my channel to keep up with future product reviews as well as other videos I do. Anyway, that is it until next time, so have a great day.